ஸ்ரீ குரு பியோ நமகா சில்ட்ரன் ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா ஃபார் த கிளாஸ் டென் சப்ஜெக்ட் பயாலஜி யூனிட் எயிட்டீன் த நேம் ஆஃப் த யூனிட் இஸ் எரிடிட்டி சில்ட்ரன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் செக்ஸ் டிட்டர்மினேஷன் usually the sex determination is main mainly determined by the chromosomes of an individual okay what is chromosome chromosomes are nothing but a long thread like structure a long thin thread like structure which is present inside the nucleus that chromosome only determines the sex of an individual okay so the formation of zygote into male or female sex during development is called sex determination okay so this sex determination is maintained or mainly determined by chromosomes now we will see the sex determination in human beings you know very well in human beings there are about 23 pairs of chromosomes is it 23 pairs in that 23 pairs 22 pairs are autosomes that is body chromosomes and the remaining one pair that is 23rd pair is the six chromosomes six chromosome is also called as allosomes okay so this autosome 22 pairs it is common in both sexes in male as well as in female the last pair 23rd pair that is allosomes that only differ in male as well as in female the female gametes you know very well are the eggs formed are similar in their chromosome type as i said in female the last 23rd pair the chromosomes are similar x x chromosomes x x in females therefore uh, human females are homogametic homo means same the gametes are same so xx chromosome type 23rd pair hence the females are homogametic in male the male gametes are sperm producers are of two types they are produced in equal proportions if the sperm bearing 22 plus x chromosomes and the sperm bearing 22 plus y chromosomes hence the human males are heterogametic here two different types of gametes x and y gamete okay so xy chromosome so two different types of chromosome here this is the 23rd pair okay in that 23rd pair two different types of chromosomes is here x and y chromosomes in female it is x x in 23rd pair in male it is x y in 23rd pair females are homogametic and males are heterogametic they can able to produce two different types of gametes one is x and another one is y x gamete and y gamete so males are heterogametic see the picture here this is a parent cell having the chromosome the last xx it is female and xy means male parent female can produce homogametic same xx gametes these two are same homogametes 
but in, in male two different gametes one is X gametes another one is Y gamete if the X the egg fused with the X gamete of the sperm what will happen XX will produce XX is nothing but female child okay if the X gamete that is egg fused with Y sperm Y gamete sperm to form XY it is male clear see here if the egg X is fused with X bearing sperm and XX individual that is female individual will be formed it is produced okay if the egg having X gamete fused with Y bearing sperm what will happen XY individual is produced okay XY individual is nothing but female child is produced the sperm produced by the father by the male determines the sex of the individual very 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 important male only father only determines the sex of the individual because for father having two different types of chromosomes X and Y okay so he only decide he only determine the sex of the individual okay the mother is not responsible in determining the sex of the individual father only responsible okay so now let's see how the chromosomes take part in this formation see, fertilization of the egg with sperm during uh, sexual reproduction fertilization means fusion of gametes male gametes and female gamete egg is a female gamete and sperm is a male gamete okay so fertilization of the egg having 22 plus X chromosome fused with uh, sperm 22 plus X so this X and X fused the process is called fertilization what will happen female child having 44 plus XX chromosome will be formed XX means female child will be produced see the picture here mother having the chromosomal number 44 autosomes plus xx this is allosome the last pair is sex chromosome if the uh, sex chromosome having xx means then the individual is female okay that is mother in father 44 autosomes plus xy allosomes what will happen the female mother will produce 22 x 22 plus x and 22 plus x these are the gametes father will produce 22 x sperm and 22 plus y sperm during fertilization this 22 plus x egg fused with 22 plus x sperm what will happen 44 plus x x that is female child will be produced female child is formed when the 22 plus X egg fused with 22 plus Y sperm, what will happen? The egg fused with the sperm, what will happen? 44 plus XY chromosomes. Okay, the individual formed here is male, that is boy. Can you understand? See the picture. Fertilization of the egg having 22 plus X chromosome with the sperm 22 plus X chromosome these two X fused together to form XX then the individual is female very good in the next case while the fertilization of the egg having 22 X fused with the sperm having 22 Y will give rise to male child X and Y fused together to form XY if the chromosome having XY in the last pair then it is male very good then we move on to mutation the word mutation is nothing but sudden alteration okay sudden change in the 
nucleotides sudden change in the genetic material okay so mutation is nothing but alteration or sudden change in the dna sequence so the term mutation was first introduced by the scientist hugo d rice in the year 1901 when he observed phenotypic phenotypic changes means morphological change morphological change that is physical appearance external appearance so when he observed phenotypic changes in evening primrose plant what happened there will be a changes in the external features okay now we move on to the definition for mutation mutation is an inheritable that means transfer inheritable sudden change in the genetic material genetic material is nothing but dna or gene okay of an organism once again i'm repeating the definition so mutation is an inheritable sudden change in the genetic material of an organism mutations are classified into two major category one is chromosomal mutation and another one is gene mutation chromosomal mutation if the if the mutation takes place in the total number of chromosomes or any uh, shape of the chromosomes so alteration takes place in the chromosome itself total number of chromosome then it is comes under chromosomal mutation another type is there that is called a gene mutation if the any if any changes or any alteration takes place in particular gene in particular base pair then that type of mutation is nothing but gene mutation can you get my point children yes see the sudden change in the structure or the number of chromosomes is called chromosomal mutation it is very important this chromosomal mutation may result in change changes in the structure of the chromosomes structural changes in the chromosomes usually occurs due to the error in the cell division okay so then changes in the number of number and arrangement of genes takes place as a result of deletion duplication inversion and translocation in chromosomes if the changes in the number if the changes in the number of chromosome as well as the arrangement of the genes that takes place as a result of deletion duplication inversion and translocation in chromosomes okay the next one is changes in the uh, number of chromosomes as i said earlier uh, in human beings there are about 23 pairs pairs of chromosomes if any change any alteration takes place in their number that comes under changes in the number of chromosomes clear so they involve addition or deletion of the chromosome number okay so they involve addition or deletion in the number of chromosome present in a cell in a cell there are about 23 pairs okay it is constant in all the cells so that the changes in the number that means it involves addition or deletion in the number of chromosome in a cell this is called ploidy so there are two different types of ploidy one is euploidy another one is aneuploidy once again i'm repeating first one is euploidy and another one is aneuploidy then what is euploidy it is a condition in which the individual bears more than the usual number of diploid chromosomes you know very well uh, each and every individual having 23 pairs all the chromosomes are there in diploid condition they are in pair diploid okay if the changes takes place in the overall chromosomes complete number of chromosomes so that means diploid or triploid that type of 
ploidy is nothing but u ploidy okay so it is a condition in which the individual bears more than the usual number of diploid chromosomes more than the okay extra if an individual has three haploid sets of chromosomes then the condition is called triploidy the name itself you can easily understand the concept tri t r i tri means three the tri the triploid plants and animals are typically they are sterile okay if it has four haploid sets of chromosomes then the condition is called tetraploidy four again tetraploid plants are advantageous as they often result in increased fruit and flower size next we move on to aneuploidy it is a condition in which the loss or gain of one or more chromosome in a set very very important in a set that is in any set or first pair or second pair or third pair or 23rd pair whatever it may be loss or gain of chromosome in a set that is called aneuploidy one second i'm repeating it is a condition in which loss or gain loss or gain of one or more chromosome in a particular set in a set that means in one set whatever it may be third pair 23rd pair 21 pair okay that is called aneuploidy it is of three types one is monosomy and another one is trisomy and third one is nullisomy monosomy means 2n minus 1 trisomy means 2n plus 1 nullisomy means 2n minus 2 in man down syndrome is one of the commonly known aneuploid condition okay so the name of the disorder is down syndrome that is in aneuploid condition down syndrome this condition was first identified by the doctor named langdon down in the year 1866 see the picture here it is a genetic condition in which there is an extra copy of chromosome normal is 20 in the 21 pair there will be a extra number of chromosome in 21 pair 21 pair that is trisomy there is an extra copy of chromosome see the picture there are 23 pairs pair 1 2 3 4 like this the last pair you know very well this is a 21 pair usually like this only 21 pair one extra chromosome is there in the 21 pair that leads to down syndrome it is associated with mental retardation delay development behavior problem weak muscle tone and hearing disability and some of the main complications and some of the conditions seen in these children see the picture here the boy having a delay growth and behavior problems and muscle tone changes in the muscle tone and then vision and hearing disability also seen okay these are the main symptoms of down syndrome thank you children to receive our online lesson please 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 press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you